قل هو الله أحد الله الصمد لم يلد ولم يولد ولم يكن له كفوا أحد One back He will never stop you He know there's nothing for you to declare So people who go back to Allah Without a lot of dunya They can go to paradise very easy But not you, not me We will have a lot of problem When we die because There will be a lot of checking from the custom officer We have so much thing with us You want to know whether you have a lot of thing or not You try to shift to another house You got to prepare a big lorry to move your things There's so much thing that we got to carry with us The Prophet said from Anas ibn Malik Qala qala Rasulullah This is a beautiful word from the Messenger of Allah who know about what is going to happen in the grave and what is going to happen after we die. We don't know. We have not been there yet. If I am there, I cannot come back. Who knows? Allah who created us, He knows everything. And He informed His messenger to inform us, to tell us, so that we are prepared, so we will not regret. يَدْبَعُ الْمَيْتَ ثَلَاسَ فَيَرْجِعُ إِسْنَانِ وَيَبْقَى مَعَهُ وَاحِدٌ The Prophet said, everyone who is living today is going to die. And when you die, there are three things that will follow you. Three things will follow you. Where? They will follow you to the grave. They are going to follow you to the graveyard. Two will return and only one will be loyal to you. One will be your best friend. But the two will return, will not stay with you for long. Your family is going to follow you. When the funeral is on, when the coffin is on, you have your family, your wife, your children, your father, your mother, your friend will follow you to send you to the graveyard. Wama luhu, maybe you have some property, you have some degree, you may have some medal was given by you from the government. You may bring your medal with you. You can bring your diamond, your gold, your silver with you. No problem. And your deeds amal. Two will return. Your family is going to say, bye-bye, my darling. Do you think you say, oh, I love you. We will live together and die together. You think they will do that? Before you get married, you can make promise. Empty promise. I love you, my darling. The sky will be my witness. The tree be my witness. I love you, my full heart. Everything in me is yours. I want to live and die with you. You say, okay. <laughs> but when he died, bye-bye. <laughs> I'm not going to follow you. Crazy. It's true. That is life. How you love your father, how you love your wife, how beautiful she is, how good your husband is, how beautiful your son is. When they die, they die. You are not going to die with them. That is their life. They have their time, you have your time. Everybody will die. Everybody will taste the first Qiyamah. The first Qiyamah is our own death. The second Qiyamah, everybody dies. There is a second Qiyamah. فَيَرْجِعْ Everyone will return back and leave you alone. We are alone now. Who will be with us in the grave? Our deeds, our amal, the good thing that we have done. If you have called people to Islam, that is your good deeds. 
Whatever the person do when he was alive, you get all the reward from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Every dollar you spend in the vision of Islam, peace, vision of Islam, they use this money to propagate Islam, to call people to Islam, you will get your share. Everybody will profit. That is the benefit we are here today. Because we want to make everybody become a winner. We do not want to be a loser. And fellow brother and, his, and sister in Islam, don't forget that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala have reminded us in many ayah. One of the ayah is very simple. You can read in the ayah in the surah of Takathur. How do you begin with this ayah? What is the first ayah? Do you remember, brother? Can somebody help me? Al Hakumuttaka Thur. At the end of the ayah, how do the Allah end this ayah? Can somebody help me? Somebody, somebody, use the mic. I want somebody to participate. Come on, come on, somebody. Somebody, please, brother, come. The ending of the surah. Huh? Anil Naim Yawma Yawma is in Anil Naim What is the meaning of that? Allah is telling us Remember Everything that I give you Every ni'mah In the day of judgment I am going to ask you How do you make use of this ni'mah? Allah did not give us for free Allah do not create us without a reason and purpose. Allah have said, Afahasiptum annama khalaqnakum abasa. Do you think that we created you without a purpose? Do we marry without a purpose? Do we work without a purpose? Do you come here without a purpose? Everybody do something with a purpose. Let us alunna yawma izin anin na'im. Let us alun. Allah said, you are sure to be questioned by Allah in the day of judgment about what Allah has given you on this earth. 50 years, 60 years, 70 years. One wife, two wives, three wives, four wives. Money, gold, silver. Allah has given you so much. What have you make use of? Where do you spend your time? Where do you spend your money? All will be questioned by Allah. But if you do it correctly now, you have less problem in the grave. Because when you go down there, brother and sister, nobody is going to be with you except your deeds. And then the angel Munkar Nakir will come. He is sure to be there waiting for you. And he is going to start the Q&A. After the ending of the lecture, we have Q&A. But there, there is another Q&A. The Q&A, you must pass. You fail, you have big, big problem. If you fail here, we can teach you. Over there, nobody teach you anymore. You can not call, Hey, Sheikh Hussein, please come and help me. I cannot help you there. When I go down there also, other sheikh cannot help me. Because Allah said, وَلَا تَزِرُوا وَازِرَةٌ وِزْرَ أُخْرَى Nobody will carry the sin of another person. Everyone will be responsible for his, for her own sins. وَأَلَيْسَ لِلْإِنسَانِ إِلَّا مَا سَعَى Human will never get anything from Allah except what they have earned in this dunya. So the trial of the grave start here, not there. There's nothing for you to do there anymore. What you want to do, you got to do it here. So the prophets say, from Abi Hurairah radiallahu anhu, قال, قال رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم, إن أول ما يسعل عنه العبد يوم القيامة من النعيم. 
minan na'im rawahu Tirmizi wa Ibn Hibban the prophet said the first thing that Allah is going to ask you in the day of judgment when he call all of us up none of you can escape everybody will got to stand up in front of Allah no one is allowed to sit like now what you are doing today I am standing you are sitting over there no chairs no chair whether you are king or emperor billionaire no chair for you here at least you have some chairs if you are king you have a special chair the king don't sit like you he cannot sit your chair and you cannot sit his chair too it's dangerous to sit the chair of the king but over there everybody will be standing standing and you know how long you go to stand there brother 50,000 years Allah we don't even stand for five hours yet you but you got to stand 50,000 years and there is only one day in Qiyamah. That's why they say, Yawmul Qiyamah, not Ayyamul Qiyamah. If Allah said Ayyamul Qiyamah, many days of Qiyamah. Only one day, not even a night. But one day is equivalent to 50,000 years. Everybody got to stand for 50,000 years. But Allah Kareem, for those who have deeds, who have prepared themselves, who have invested, now in Akhirah, they have no problem. For those who bring up your children to be good children, righteous children, like the children you have seen, they are trained to do da'wah, to call people to Islam from young. And if they become the caller of Islam, all of us as parents will receive the blessing of Allah. It's a great investment. The mother, the father in the time of the Prophet, when they have children, the only thing in their dream, in their life, is to make sure these children become the righteous people. Waladun Saleh. Because all of us know, brother and sister, this is the last hadith that I like to share with you. The Prophet said, "Iza mata ibn Adam in qata'a amalahu illa bi salatha." That means every children of Adam will die. Muslim, not Muslim, people who are not yet will die. You die, the Prophet said, "In qata'a amalu." You are cut off from this world. You have nothing to do with this world anymore. If you commit a crime after you die, the court cannot sue you anymore. If the court sue you, send you a summon in the grave, he is crazy. How can you summon the death? Nothing. You are cut off. Illa bisala, except three things that still can save you. Three things that can help you in your grave and in the day of judgment. Number one, sadaqatin jariyah. If you have some money, give it for the sake of Allah. You have a land, you have a house. Anything that is useful, you donate it to vision peace of Islam. Say, make use for the sake of Allah for da'wah. And when people come to Islam, they have no place to stay. You put them in the halfway house that you have made waqaf. You have a house for the orphan, the aitam, for the poor. Whoever make use of this place, you get the reward. Ongoing reward from Allah. Wa ilmun yun tafa'obi and knowledge. Whatever you know, pass it down to your children. Teach them Fatiha. Teach your friend Islam. Teach them how to pray. And when they start to pray, because you have made an effort to teach them, you will get the reward. And when they teach their friend, you also will get the reward. It's a chain of reward. Allah is going to reward all of us with the little effort, not much, just little. 
The little you spend now, Allah will give you more in the hereafter. And the last one is, waladun saleh yad'ula. You see, the beauty of the saying of the Prophet, he said, waladun saleh. The Prophet never said, ibn saleh, bintu saleh. He said, waladun saleh. What is the meaning of walad here? That means any children this under your care. You make them become righteous children. You die. They become good children. They pray. They fast. They do da'wah. They make zikr. You will get all the reward from Allah. Even they are not engineer, doctor. It's not a big problem. Because when you go down six feet under, Allah is not going to ask you about your doctorate. Allah is not going to ask you one question about your professionhood. Whatever you spend for dunya, just for dunya, in the secular education, not even one question Allah asks about that. But Allah will ask about your deen. Ma rabbuk, wa ma deenuk, wa man nabiyuk. He will ask you that. Waladun saleh, righteous children.